We are building a house on Tinkercad. We started with a box, a solid box. We made it 30 by 40. I'm picturing 30 feet by 40 feet. We made um, the walls of the house by making a hollow box to fit inside of it. And in step two, we made this door, which is an archway door. Now we're gonna add the back door and the windows. So to do that, I have a model of where we left off. So we left off here, the house and with the doorway. We want to create the back door and the windows. Let's start with the back door for it first, okay? So the back door, we're going to need again this box. Doors are typically th three feet wide. So we are going to tap here on the bottom right corner, three feet. I'll make it 10 feet deep just so that as I bore the hole, I can see it. And how tall is it? Never more than seven feet, six foot for a back door. Uh, I'll do six and a half feet. Okay, so I want to make this a hole. And now what I want to do, just centering my view. Now I want to put this in the middle here. And then when I use my up arrow, it bores through and I can typically see that as it's happening. Okay. So um, I have to align this so that it's in the center. And so how I do that is I highlight both of them. And up here, there is an align button. And I want to align it that way horizontally. So you decide which button you want to use down here to align. So now that it's aligned and it's perfectly in the center, I'm going to select them both and group them together. And there's my back door. So that's nice. We now have a back door. Um, now what we want is we actually want the windows, right? So let's think. If the whole wall is 10 foot tall, and this top of the doorway is seven feet, maybe five feet is the base of my window. And maybe I want a window and this is 30 feet all the way across. So what if I put my window, you want to kind of think about where you want things. I don't know. What if I make it a five foot by three foot window want to do that let's do a five foot by three foot window so <clears throat> we'll grab this box and put it down here we're going to do five feet by now this is going to be um i'm making a hole remember so let's make it so that it's longer the hole is going to be longer than the house is deep so the house is 40 feet in depth, let's make it, I don't know, 50 feet. So that when I, I can bore through just one time and it'll hit both the front and the back wall of the house. Now the height of my window is gonna be three feet tall. That's the height of my window, okay. So this is what my window is, the, the, um, the window itself is gonna be five feet, by three feet, that, that's that rectangle. Now I have to decide how high I wanna put it and I also have to decide how to do that. So this arrow allows me to bring, bring the base of it up. See, see the base is now at zero, so it's sitting on the ground. So it's lifting up your base and let's lift up our base five feet tall like that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna bring it, not like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use my, I have better luck with my arrows on my keyboard. So I'm moving it over here and I have to decide how to center it. So I like to really look at this closely. And this is where I wish there was a way to align something um, I don't I don't really know how to align this. I'm just eyeballing it. There's probably a better way of doing that. But I like to eyeball it and say, does that look like it's about in the center? It does. 
It does. So I'll keep it there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight just this hole. I'm going to duplicate it so that it, it lands in the exact position that that one's in. And then using my right arrow, I just push this over to what again looks like it's in the center. And now I can kind of see there's three little grid lines to the left and there's three little grid lines to the right there. So it does look like it's centered nicely. So what I can do now is highlight both of them. And with my up arrow, that's how you move something forward so that you can now see that we're going to bore those window holes right there. And I'm going to highlight the whole thing and group it. And when I do, that's when the windows are made. And that's pretty nice. Oh, you know what? I'm going to undo that because, because I can also grab one of these. Why should I make it again? Duplicate this, push it over and have that ready for my other windows on the other side, right? Okay. But for now, I'll make these windows, group them together. And now this one here, I want to flip it um, so that it it is positioned 90 degrees in the other way. So I'm wondering, would this work if I do 90? Yay, that worked. <laughs> cool. So now I'm going to go over here and the same thing. I want windows. Why not use the same height? I think the same height would be fine. I'm just going to go over here and decide, am I about centered? Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm pushing it over to the right. And notice the center of this um, block is right there on that grid line. I'm going to do something similar over here. And I'm just kind of seeing, am I aligned properly? Everything looks pretty good. I am now going to highlight both of them and push it forward. And then we'll make these windows. Now you can make fancier windows, right? Something that looks more dressy. Have you ever seen porthole style windows in houses or the windows that are like arched? So you can use any shape you want to make your windows. But for me, I'll just keep it simple. And I'm going to group it together. And there are our windows and our back door.